Time for What Are the Odds with Mark Malusis and Sal Licata. And Mills, what are the odds that Devontae Freeman can give similar production to what you would have gotten from Saquon, who's over and under, was 1,300 yards? Uh, those odds would be long. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think you're going to get the similar production. I mean, you know, Chris, I, you know, listen, I, I, I'm rooting for Devontae Freeman. He's only 28. I mean, it's not that long ago. He's a really impact running back south for your Atlanta Falcons, and you know that better than anybody. But, you know, came down with that injury, what, the end of 17, really has never been the same running back after that. Now, I think when you look at the three-headed monster, when you look at Freeman, when you look at Deion Lewis, who I think could be a great third down back, catching the ball out of the backfield, and when you look at Wayne Coleman, who was really in Shermer's doghouse a year ago, but I liked him when he was a star at Clemson for Dabo Sweeney. I do think you can make use and get production at the running back spot. The problem you have, though, none of those three have really the home run hitting ability. Coleman's got a lot of speed, but he does not have all the attributes that obviously Saquon Barkley had. That's the problem this giant team had. They can get production in the numbers. They're just not going to get it from one sole individual. Right, that's the thing. They weren't running the ball moves consistently anyway with Saquon Barkley. Now, is Devontae Freeman or anybody else you just mentioned going to be as explosive potentially and, you know, change the game with one breakout play? No, they're not. But the Giants need to get better at consistently running the football. Freeman's, a, he, look, he's solid, but there's too much tread on the tire. You mentioned the injury. He's a physical back, a little guy who's going to give you everything he's got. He's a passionate football player. Problem is, his best days are behind him. I mean, there's a reason why he was available at this point. So you're going to get a solid football player. I just don't know what he has to give. You can't compare any of those three to the explosiveness of Saquon Barkley. But the Giants, regardless of who's running the football, they need a running game. There's a difference of having a great running back and having a great running game. And even with the great back, the Giants haven't had a great running game. No, it's very true, Sal. And as bad as the Giants have been in losing Saquon Barkley, they are just one game out of first place in the division. Sal, do you see them having a chance to win it? No, they've only played two. So, I mean, how many games do you want them to be back? They've only played two games that won back. The Giants are not... They're not a division. Look, I don't even think the Saquon Barkley injury moves has much to do with their results the rest of the way. I know that may sound crazy, but it's always been about Joe Judge and Daniel Jones to me. What were the Giants going to be? They weren't going to be a playoff team anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Obviously, you'd rather have them there and Shepard, too, you could throw in there. And those, you know, those two seemingly are always getting hurt. But I don't think that the Giants were a playoff team, even in a bad division with the way the Eagles have started. And Dallas really should be 0-2 as well. I still don't think the Giants are a team that could be contending for a division or for a playoff spot. Yeah, I don't disagree. I mean, and I think when you look at the Cowboys, every team in that NFC East has got their warts, right? The offense, when you look at Washington, I mean, Philadelphia is ravaged on both sides of the football when you look at the injuries. The ineptitude at times of Carson Wentz at the quarterback's body, they're throwing picks or holding on to the football a little bit too long. When you look at this giant team, I think organizationally, they'll tell you that they're a year away. So can they take advantage of a bad division this year? Sure. I mean, could they maybe finish in second place? I think right now, if you were a betting man, you'd probably say the Cowboys are the overwhelming favorite to win the NFC East, even after their miraculous comeback, a game they should have lost. They should be still staring at 0-2 on Sunday to the Atlanta Falcons. But the Giants have got a ways to go here, and now everything is on the shoulders of their quarterback orchestrating that offense. So basically what you guys are saying is Giants fans need to be patient for success yeah. to come.